Hey guys, I'm Neff from Nav Stack, but it's otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. Don't worry, ma'am, I am from the internet. Today, we are going to look at how to install Flux. Super easy, headless, you don't need to know any programming, any code, anything like that. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So this is the application you're going to need. Pinocchio, pinocchio.co, download. And once you get it downloaded and and installed this is basically what you're going to be seeing you're not going to have any of these these are things that i installed on my own we're going to pop over to discover and here in the discovery we're going to see everything we're going to see all the things that we can download we're going to scroll down and we're going to find flux whereas here it is flux web ui Minimal Flux Web UI powered by things. <laughs> Anyways, this is a great place to start. One click install with Pinocchio. And that is the best. It's just the best. So here we're going to download. I'll tell it. Sorry, that was me. Uh, so the thing about AI is it can take a lot, lot of... Uh, install it can take a lot lot of time to install and get running basically uh but this it just does it itself and it's a that's a giant workhorse thing i mean when i first tried to get stable diffusion working on a few computers i swear i had to input this stuff over and over again i had to figure out wsl uh that's linux over windows basically and yeah so this could take a while and the thing is once you even get it going the first time it might not even work perfectly so you can hit install a second time now flux is much better than stable diffusion for images when i started uh, this image generation thing it was all stable diffusion flux is now the best it's the way to go flux is good flux is wise so this is going to take some time so you're going to want to go get some coffee and check out the new newspaper and come on back later maybe check out the papa meat channel for a bit and uh <laughs> come on back oh uh, yeah papa meat that's what i'm talking about i can't handle this guy's cartoons but these things are fine holy snap not yet i've been here for like seven minutes it's still going it keeps going and going i had to put this on my secondary hard drive all right lovely so that took about maybe 20 minutes a half hour and here we have it, uh, Flux Web UI, and over here, I guess we don't need to know it about any of that, but the prompt is going to be right here. Maybe we will put in black tabby cat long hair, and then we hit run. Now, it should be said, if you want to run this stuff, you need a relatively good video card. You're going to want something NVIDIA. I would recommend at least a 1050. Uh, yeah, a 1050 Ti with, at the minimum. You get a 1080, you should be fine. Fetching seven files. So once again, this could take some time. The first ones always take the most time. The better your video card, the quicker it will be. So first off, it has to load the files. Uh, uh, a diffusion point. I might not be saying that right, but it needs to download a checkpoint or run a checkpoint. And over here it says how many seconds... I'm just going to put this on pause and we'll keep running and see where it goes. I recommend a little Dragon Ball while we wait. The Saiyan movie is always a good start. Going to watch Yamcha get yamcha Oh no, Yamcha got yamcha Oh wow, check it out. It's the Corn Mob and Markham, Ontario. No frills. Oh, don't mess with those old folks and their corn. Ah, uh, come on, Flux. You got this. 300 minutes seconds i mean it feels like minutes check this out guys as we wait i asked ai to visualize itself this is what ai on vivo thinks it looks like i love it it's beautiful how do i make this bigger that's what she said check it out check it out check it out Ooh, i love it it's beautiful anyways this is legitimately taking a really long time but you legitimately have to have a lot of patience for this stuff. I actually closed it and reopened it. It's only at uh, 
42.9%. I think I've been waiting for about 20 minutes now. Once again, patience. All right, and we're back. I legitimately went out grocery shopping. When I got back, it finally made the image. Okay, so as you can see, that's a lovely picture of a cat. So let's see something particular. Um, tabby cat with long hair. And we'll see how long it takes to generate this. Over here, you see the processing. Um, this is how much it thinks, how much time it thinks it'll take. Um, so that's, oh wow, 3,065 seconds. Oh wow, I was not prepared for that. That's like almost an hour. All right, well, more Dragon Ball Z for me, I guess. I definitely wasn't expecting it to take quite that long, but we'll see if it actually takes that long. All right, there we go. Yeah, it didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. I wonder if we can do nudes of the Backstreet Boys. Everybody, yeah. Backstreet's back, all right. What's this then? That doesn't look like the Backstreet Boys. Okay, now I'm gonna do a test on my own to see if we can do nudity. And the answer is yes. Yes, you can make nudes on here. All right. Okay, now let's have a look at some of the options we got down here. We got width, we got height. Uh, sit, sit via dot, uh, io. Oh, I'm saying it wrong. But anyways, most people that make uh, images like to make them in portrait. Um, here you get the number of images you want to make, the number of inference steps. Now I'm going to explain that here. One sec. So basically, how this starts out is like, let's say you want to make a castle, a tree in the cloud, you do a bit of this, have a tree right here, yay. And when it does this, each step is a bit of a blob. And you can literally, in some programs, put something like this in. And then in the text, you could say this is a castle, and this is a cloud, beautiful cloud. And the more steps you take, the more like what you want, it's going to make it. And it's going to take more time too. So let's say this would save about five steps. And every step it took past that would make this look like a real good castle, make this look like a real good tree, and make this look like a really good cloud basically. Now let's see what else we got on here. So the seed. Now the seed number, if you want to make that a particular number, it'll, it'll mean that every other picture you make after the first one is going to look basically like that, uh, like that first one. If you put the seed number at zero, you'll get a random image every time. Something a little bit different. What some people will do is they'll make like a hundred pictures and they'll find that one that they really, really like. And that works out for them. Guidance scale. Huh. Oh yeah, so the models. You can go and get different models. Now here's CivitAI.com where you can see the different models that they've got. You can also make artificial intelligence on here and see things that other people have made from multiple different things like let's look, look at this handsome guy so the model if you can find it here they'll call it checkpoint but um this is generally made with stable diffusion and we're not using stable diffusion here we're using flux ai so flux is different than stable diffusion if you find a flux checkpoint you can put it in a particular file and then bring it up here basically and with that file you'll be able to make different things maybe if you get the right file you'll be able to make backstreet boys but this is definitely the first step that you'll want to do if you're making ai with um with pinocchio basically and that's how it goes anyways ladies and gentlemen that's how you can make images free with pinocchio ai simply without needing um wsl without needing to really know any of this stuff you just got to have a good video card you can make it locally and when you make it locally you get the privacy right 
you can definitely make a lot of sexy time pictures with this too if you know what you're doing anyways it's a lot of fun to mess with and i recommend you do so uh, but uh, ultimately that's it for me now from now's tech if you got any questions leave it in the question comment section and if you like it give me a thumbs up if you dislike you know what to do and uh have a good one folks i'm out of here and catch you later